considering you've had a few positions around, like, in labs, and I know you had field work up in, like, the middle of nowhere Canada. Yeah. But what did you do more specifically as a geologist? That would probably go over a lot of people's heads, straight <laughs> up. Um, long said, story hey, short, I, I would tell mines how much uh, of a uh, uh, metal they had in different regions and help them mine the, where they should do their maps. Because I, as I'd like to think, I can understand most of what you say. When you go in depth, I get yeah. lost. Yeah. Well, it, we're like, saving the audience. Like I'm an expert in the field, so like <laughs> you have hardly heard about like half the stuff. So you have no context to what I'm going to be saying. So yeah, I just map out the places. Oh, uh, interesting. Okay, second question: When you explain about gold radiation and clay, like can you ex expand on that? Oh, uh, yeah, TLDR: um, Gold. 99.8% of gold is stable, but like 0.02% of it is in a valence state higher than the, what it's supposed to be. So it has like one extra um, like uh, neutron into it. So that's not stable. So over radioactive decay time, eventually that wants to get back to a stable state. So it will let off energy, also known as radiation, out of itself to get back down to the stable state over a very concise amount of time. And eventually we're gonna get to a point in the universe where no gold in the world is radioactive because it's had enough time to decay. But long story short, um, that radiation is a particle, and that particle is very water soluble. So because when we're in northern Canada, there's lots of clay, that radiation gets trapped as a particle inside the clay um, because its mesh doesn't allow that particle to get through, but it also stops the water from above from washing it away. So you have trapped gold particles underneath and the water table above. So you have to stab on down through, get to the bottom of the clay, and pull up uh, that clay sample without getting it wet in order to uh, uh, capture the techno, uh, the um, what's called the fingerprint of the gold uh, uh, mines below you. Dang. Yeah. That's actually complicated, but cool. Uh, going over the radiation coming from what? gold and clay. Yeah. <laughs> have you had any experience building or operating reactors? No, no, that's not my thing. It's cool as shit. I had the opportunity to get, like, go to space and deal with that kind of stuff, but no, 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 no. I can only imagine how much, not, not only how dangerous it can be if, you know, not pro done properly, but how much research it must take to actually be able to pull it off. Well, here's the thing. When I say radiation, people are thinking, oh, my God, nuclear. But, like, every, almost everything in the world is radioactive. Like, dude, it's a term for, like, the decay. Like, bruh, I, I'm going to get too much into it. Never mind. Ah. <laughs> Science, this goes it down. Yeah. This is going into your older work. So as oh. your time as a geochemist, did you go collect geothermal settlements or dried volcanic rocks? Uh, no, I, I didn't deal with those kinds of things. I mostly dealt with like lithium mines, gold mines, diamonds, and I was mostly like uh, dissolving rocks in acid and uh, turning them into light to read the gravity of light to tell com a chemical composition. Um, I didn't really do a lot of field stuff after I got out of university. I did a lot of like laboratory and exploration stuff in like um, swamps and in like northern Canada. Um, you guys might not know this because you're in the United States. But um, our entire northern section of Canada is made with very old, like 3.5 billion year old rock. And that rock is high in magnesium and iron, which means that when water interacts with it, it makes a lot of clay and it makes a lot of waterbeds. And basically the entire north of Canada is just covered in swamps and pine trees. So we do a lot of our science by taking clay samples from up there and testing radiation to try to find the ore, de uh, ore deposits. Huh. Yeah. I learned something new today. Boom. Uh, if you see a clone of you, what would you do? Hi, hi, hi. <laughs> I don't know, dude. <laughs> That's the best I got. It's like, yo, dude, what's up? Where, where you at? <laughs> like, where'd you come from, bro? I, I don't think I could take two of you. I love you, man, but not two. No, I don't think many people could. <laughs> Although some might want to. What? We don't go there. Nah. 